Light propagates along straight lines in empty space. An observer sees the image of a source in the direction from which the light is approaching. According to general relativity, masses deflect light, similar to normal glass lenses. They are therefore called gravitational lenses. Lenses like the sun bend light rays the stronger the closer they are to the light path. Therefore, the image appears pushed away from the lens. This effect is exaggerated here. Galaxies can bend the light path so strongly that light can travel on multiple paths. This way, multiple images of a distant quasar can appear. Such multiple images are indeed observed. The quasar 2237, for instance, appears quadruply imaged. The imagined line from the observer through the lens is called optical axis. If the source is placed exactly on the optical axis, a ring-shaped image is formed. Such Einstein rings are also observed. The quasar 1938, for example, appears as a ring. Entire galaxy clusters can also act as gravitational lenses. They are produced strongly distorted images of distant galaxies. A spectacular example is the large arc in the galaxy cluster CL2244. Galaxies further away from the cluster are only weakly distorted, but they are very numerous. These galaxies allow to properly map strength and orientation of the distortion around the galaxy cluster. Such distortion maps can be used to reconstruct the mass distribution in galaxy clusters. In such a map, the height displayed corresponds to the amount of reconstructed material.